and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on with Hawkeye and I here for some Naya midrange. So we haven't played a Naya deck in a long time. Um, you know, like green and white, uh, we were just talking about this a little bit ago, but green and white are a little worse in this metagame than other colors. They don't have a, a whole lot of real good support cards and everything. Um, so you don't see like a whole lot of like green white stuff. And so we haven't, we haven't been playing uh, too much of that. But I wanted to get back to it. So wanted to make a Naya deck. So so I started there. I was like, all right, I want to make a Naya deck. And I was like, well, what do, what do I want to do in Naya? Like, what what would like be a really good reason to play Naya colors? And the the card that I was really pulled to with making a Naya deck was God Eternal Oketra. I was like, well, if we're making a Naya deck, we probably want to be creatures and just, you know, uh, having ramp creatures into Oketra is very powerful. And so I was like, well, I want to be Oketra. And for red, I wanted to kind of be war boss also. So I, I wanted to be able to try to turn to war bossing. Because um, I, I do like war boss against a lot of decks in the format. So I wanted, to be, I wanted to be able to have the opportunity to play turn two war boss. So that's what we have here. We have a kind of like an aggressively slanted uh, Naya deck where we got like some good haste with war boss, spellbreaker, ceratops. We got some evasion with phoenix and hellkite. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, we have like the Oket. So as you can tell, like, we're basically Gruul splashing Oketra in the main deck and then using white for sideboard cards over here. Of course, I wanted to be playing Blood Sun in red. And then Honor Guard's a pretty nice card in white with all of like the Risen Reef decks uh, everywhere. And of course, Devout Decree against Vampires, Baffling End also against like Vampires and Aggro. So like, those, are, those are like the cards that I uh, wanted to kind of lean towards. I don't have like much to do on turn two that we have here. We're we're hopefully going to be having a lot of land war elf hands and going straight from land war elf to turn two war boss spellbreaker domri. Like we have a lot of good stuff on three. Uh, that if we have like our land war elf to three, that that's really the curve that we want to be doing. Um, using domri's ambush as my removal spell. Uh, I've been impressed with this card in the past. That one one counter is really nice. Like this is a, a two mana removal spell that can kill Cavalier of Thorns whenever you put it on, like, a Ceratops um, or, you know, like a, a, a Spellbreaker or, you know, uh, yeah, like a Spellbreaker if, if Spellbreaker is pumped by Domri. But, yeah, so we can kill, like, Cavalier of Thorns and your Rock and Golos and, like, those kind of five-mana creatures they're seeing a lot of play. I wanted a two-mana removal spell that could, that could potentially kill those, and that's what Domri's Ambush can do or, like, Coil and Baffling End aren't going to get the job done. Um, but yeah, that's our deck. It can also, <clears throat> Ambush can also grow War Boss to make it a 3-3, three, three, so then you can Mentor onto 2-2s, two, so that could be, that could be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's our deck. Let's, let's give it a try. Let's see how it does. Let's play some Naya. It's been too long. Let's get some Naya midrange. All right, Hawkeye, you ready for some Naya? You want some water? Oh, all right. <clears throat> you want some meow? Meow, yeah. I just had his lunch. I always feed him right before I start streaming. And so he just had his, his lunch and jumped up here all happy. Yeah, Rogue Refiner and Risen Reef both start with that RR. Ooh, good looking hand to start with. I already got turn to Domri first game. And they have the same mana cost. They draw you card, feel their synergy. What is stronger? I believe Risen Reef is the stronger card. Yeah, because it can just... It can get you much more card advantage than... Uh, Rogue Refiner could. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's just this. Okay. 
Is this just Sultai Flash? Oh, I guess it is. Hmm. Yeah, Refiner does attack a lot better. Tis true. Hey, what's up, Wake? So they likely have a wolf here. I need to play the ambush. I want to just I want to just give them the chance to be able to play wolf and block. But I need to play this because I just need to use my mana this turn because I'm going to be just tapping out. No, I should attack with Ceratops first. Ugh, I just walked into Frilled Mystic. Darn it. Yeah, I just walked into Frilled Mystic. I guess this can't block Frilled. Frilled Mystic can't block this thing. Okay, so we're okay. Sometimes first day of the game. First game of the day. Oh my gosh. First game of the day. Starting off slow. But that's all right. Very good hand for Sultai Flash, though. As someone who's played a good amount of Sultai Flash, it was a very good hand. Ooh, I was expecting another Frilled Mystic, how they shocked in last turn. Syncopate was their last card. That's what they're shocking in for. Hooray! We did it, Hawkeye. Good top deck. We have two Vela Summers. Not a ton. Um, it's not very likely that we're binding a wolf. So Honor Guard stops Frilled Mystic. And that's about it. I don't know if that's worth a, a card. 
Yeah, we we had a lot of top decks that got us there, but we need to draw something. But yeah, like basically Ambush, Warboss, Spellbreaker, Domri, Ceratops. Those were all top decks that got us there. Um oh, actually Warboss would have been one short. But anyway, Don't really want Baffling End. Binding is like really slow, even though like this is a removal spell for the wolf, but it's really slow. So if we just bring in a couple Vela Summers and maybe cut the two Vivian Reeds. Just go with this. Uh, don't remind me of that match from yesterday. Yeah, that was gross. Look how brown Hawkeye's nose is, because he just got done eating, so he just had his his nose like scarfing up food. So happy. All right, another great hand of just turn one land war elf with uh, good mana. We're gonna have turn two this other stuff. Uh, Domri is an amazing card to have resolve because Domri makes our other creatures uncounterable. It's pretty unlikely just to resolve Domri here, even though I, I want to try. Domri's our best play because we can go Domri and then play Land War Elf also. I just think they have Syncopate. Ooh. Maybe Domri would have resolved. Okay. Hey there, buddy. All right. <clears throat> Ceratops got trophied. So more mana for us for next turn, which is good. All right, he's doing okay now. <laughs> yeah, it's just a hairball kind of thing. Or just, you yeah, know, he's, he's fine. Let's see. All right, pass turn. So five, six, seven. That's not a good block. Spellbreaker has trample. They should just block the Paradise Druid. It saves the same amount of damage. Alright, GG's. Nia mid range.
Starting off strong. Okay, how you doing? Come here. You doing okay, Hawkeye? Looks like a fluffy blanket with that camera angle. No, Land of War Elf, no. So do we still want to keep... I mean, we have good mana, our hand's slow, we don't do anything until turn four, though, on the draw. What? I moved my hand. What? It's right here. Hmm. I'll just try it. Duh, bears. Welcome back to bears. Yeah, how can I want to play now? First sub of the day. Thank you so much for resubbing there. I appreciate that. Okay. So we got more flash stuff. Looks like it could be Sultai Flash again. Uh, maybe just blue black. We'll have to see. Yeah, that's that's pretty unfortunate. The two uh, wow cards to get one card for historic cards. Um, I can't say that I know the exact rationale behind it, and like you know, like all the dis you know, I'm sure they didn't just like make that decision randomly or anything. Yeah, so they said they're going to be injecting older cards into Historic. Um, I actually I actually like that. I actually kind of like that. But So that will be like every... They said they're going to be doing that like every uh, quarter, basically. And I don't mind that. I'm going to wait one turn. I want to be able to play Spellbreaker and Phoenix. And then if play Spellbreaker first, if Spellbreaker resolves, then um, then I'll go Ambush. If Spellbreaker gets countered, then I play, Hel or then I play Phoenix.
Oh, well. I guess I could have played around Spell Pierce. Alright, well, that was my bad. Alright, well, that was my bad. Forgot about Spell Pierce there. I just played my land. All right, Hellkite's going to resolve. Yeah, I'm I am excited about the historic format overall. Definitely. So I could shock in for War Boss, but then if they have removal for Hellkite, I just die immediately. If they have removal for Hellkite, I'm Probably gonna die anyway. Though. It doesn't make any sense why they're waiting on Terramander, does it? It makes no sense. Like they should just they should have just adapted the Terramanders immediately, right? I guess in, if they wanted to hold up a counter spell, I guess. Am I supposed to know which one's adapting? But it's <clears throat> it's over though with these things just costing one mana to adapt yeah it's, it's just over I guess before they untapped when they had the three mana I was I was really just hoping that they were gonna just adapt on my end step but they they untapped but I guess if I would have just hit them both they can adapt You know, both of them, then I hit them both again, they, then they can adapt one. So I could have stayed alive. Alright, well, same kind of thing. Vivian's better in this matchup when they're just going to be basically all flyers. And yeah, I want, I want baffling ends where I didn't before. Um... Last time I cut the two Vivians, but Oketra is probably less valuable this time. Could just get rid of both, though. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Vaughn, day is going really good. Yeah, day is going really good. Now, 
this is a hand. Turn two war boss. Uh, I guess so. That's... <laughs> that was probably just a regular MTG bot command for Historic there. Oh, right! Say, I'm sorry, Suvi Sock. I forgot about that. I did not write it down. I remember we talked about playing it today from your donation three days ago. Hmm. Um, I mean, I, I can't play it tomorrow. Tomorrow's the sub-battle stream, so I can't play it tomorrow. So either I have to move one of the decks today, which would... Uh, the Grixis Aggro is a donation deck, so it would have to be, you know, move the Sultai or the Mardu deck today or play it on Sunday. Which I can I can move one of these two decks if you would like me to. I'm I'm available to do that. Or if you don't mind, I can play it uh, Sunday. Okay. Um, don't move Sultai. So I was, I was thinking about moving Sultai because Sunday I usually do like rank up Sunday stream and, and Sultai is a, a good deck for that, for the for rank up Sunday. So I think, I think I'm going to move Sultai. We'll see simplicity. You never know. Star of Extinction could be played in Historic. You never know. Ugh, if we need, if we had more lands, it's a pretty good hand. But that's that's why it's a good hand because we don't have any lands, <laughs> so all of our cards are good. Yeah, I, I did wake. Yeah, I got the updated version. You can check it here. It's it's uploaded on the stream decker. You can check it. Make sure it's correct.
I gotta have removal for this Terramander. I don't want to display Ceratops next turn because they have a lot of removal. So I want to, you know, like they have, we've seen a ton of cast downs from them. So I want to have uh, Ceratops protected by Vela Summer. Oh my gosh. What a complete beating. That's, that's game right there. Wasn't expecting that card from the flash deck, but yeah, it's a complete beating. I was putting the Temple Guard in to play tapped. I wasn't going to be protecting War Boss because I need to protect Ceratops. The Ceratops can block Terramander, but I mean, it's over. Just another Shock Land. Wow, that Legion's End. Mulligan and then get three for one. Did we got a pack? Uh, should hopefully it's a wild card. Nope, gems. All right, we're one and one. We'll see if we play against Flash again. Which I wouldn't really mind so much. I mean, I think we have an, a pretty good flash matchup, honestly. I think I would win a good amount of times playing that matchup. Yeah, I mean, our opponent had six cards in hand. We were... It's not like our opponent had nothing. Favorite salad dressing? I don't like I don't like ranch. Um, that's the thing I don't like a lot of salad dressings. I don't really like uh, really heavy vinegar style. I like salads more than salad dressing. If that makes sense. Um. I do like Caesar, um, but not like really heavy Caesar with like lots of fat and stuff. I like a, a light Caesar. Um, Asian sesame. I can go with that. You like olive oil, salt, and pepper. Okay. I'm not a salt fan. I could use a little olive oil and pepper. I like pepper.
This was a risky hand, not having any red mana. So thinking either we'd have red mana or we'd, or we'd uh, play an early Vivian Reed. It looks like we're doing neither. Yeah, I have I have some three mana Chandras in the sideboard of the Path of Metal deck. But none in the main deck. I think Pithing Needle is very similar to Spyglass. I, like, I think Spyglass is probably better in Standard than Pithing Needle is. The games are a little longer. Um, so having that information of what your opponent's cards and everything is, is really valuable. Um, in a higher power format like Modern, the games are a lot faster. The, the one mana is a lot more valuable than the two mana. But in Standard, I think Spyglass is a better card. All right, Devout Decree, Baffling End, Binding. So Vivian, Vivian's actually pretty nice. Killing Cavalcade, or Calamity, yeah. Killing that card, Cavalcade, or and also killing the 1-3 Flyer. Getting rid of both of those. So if we take out one Oketra, the War Boss, I still got to take out three cards. We'll take out a Domri. I guess another Oketra and a Ceratops. I mean, I... Oh, just two Ceratops. They get Lava Coiled. All right, we have red mana this time, and green and white. Got all of our colors. And we're gonna be paying two life to play Land of War Elf. Immediately hoping it doesn't die, and then we can just play Paradise Druid, and then Foundry in tapped, and go on from there. Ambush Paradise Druid's a nice combination. Uh, use that one against the that other flash deck like where they had or likely had removal. So I could just ambush this spitter. Well, let's get more mana in play. So I think I want to kill the thing that can be unblockable. Or 
where we can block these other one ones now. Yeah, sure do, Delta. Yep, sure do. Do both. Uh, ranked and leagues, do them both. an easy block here with the 3-2. Oh, yeah. Cavalcade has the bug. Can't block right away. I think I just block with Lanowar off also. Don't love losing the Lanowar off there. I think it's the thing to do. So Phoenix is better to play if they have, like, Chandra. If they have Lava Coil, it's worse just to play this Phoenix. Just going to pass. The thing about playing the Phoenix, you know, they could Coil Phoenix, but then also they just have, like, Shock to kill, like, my Paradise Druids. That's pretty rough for me. That shouldn't trigger anything else though, right? Yeah, that doesn't trigger again or anything. Oh man, your record with Chandra Spitfire is 40 power. I have not done anything nearly that good. I think we've got to like, you know, like four triggers, like 13 power, maybe 16 power, maybe five triggers. But that's about it. There's times that you just play the game too safe. You know, I was just like sitting there waiting for like another Chandra or uh, like a Chandra or a Spitfire, you know, just sitting there with that Devout Decree in hand. Never casting that Devout Decree, you know, killed me. I had that turn that I didn't do anything and I didn't use that two mana. And if I would have Devout Decreed just the one one, you know, it's, you know, it's obviously it's hindsight. But if I just Devout Decree the one one, there that would have like that that other turn i mean i think that saves me i think eight that might have saved me like eight damage that that extra one one got to attack at least twice it was at least five damage but i think maybe even eight maybe attacked three times after that i think just twice but that would have saved me five damage just casting that devout decree um, you know, you can't take those cards to the next game. You know, the game, the game just ends. So, 
So a uh, little tough, a little tough there. Um, that was the biggest thing I regretted. You know, we blocked with the land war elf and then we didn't have five mana for Vivian to kill Cavalcade. You know, like, but then the, like the Vivian dies if I do that, but um, I don't know. So lost to a couple aggro decks there with our Naya deck. Um, didn't uh, didn't really feel like they were bad matchups. I think like you know some things just didn't go our way. Uh, both both times we had like one game where our hand was pretty bad where we didn't, weren't really competitive and then the other two games just kind of slipped away from us um honestly liked our deck here i want to i'd want to play this deck some more i think I'll, I'll be playing this deck again here soon um you know whether it's sunday or monday or so uh i liked a lot of the stuff that we had going on here and yeah, i want to try this again i guess before ferocidon um, so probably Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. I guess it won't be won't be Monday. That's rotation proof Monday. So either Sunday or Tuesday. No, I don't. I don't think there's really like you know. I I went through a lot of stuff. I don't think there's really other white cards that I want main deck. Um, yeah, I, th I like the five drops. Like I liked the Hellkite. It it looked like pretty good, or like it was a card that I was, that I thought looked pretty good in in a couple of those matches. Um, you know, Vivian's more for not really for just like the aggro decks, so much. Just real small sample there. I I liked what our deck had going on, but I just let a couple of games slip away. I could have more like if I would have more aggressively traded off cards that last game i think maybe we could have gotten there but you know i would have been a lot weaker to a top stack chandra um without having that devout decree but there was no chandra i guess need to make sure to stay alive uh first plan there no i don't no i don't really want knight of autumn um there's not too much stuff for Knight of Autumn deck to kill these days, and and I really like the threes that we have. I don't really want more than eleven three mana cards. Um, you know, Vivian like this kind of deck can definitely struggle against like Esper, um, and Vivian can just help out so much with that. We're not Knight of Autumn's not going to be as impactful, like again specifically against Cavalcade of Calamity. Yeah, I would rather have Knight of Autumn. But I don't really want Knight of Autumn in the sideboard either. Like, I had it in the sideboard for a while, but because I'm playing Honor Guard and we have, like, Binding and, and Vivian and decide to, that we have, like, we have removal spells for enchantments and moved away from it. Um, but no, I, I mean, I, I think both of the, basically both of the matchups that we lost, I think I would, I would gladly run the same deck back and I think I'd have... Like, I think we're going to be winning a, a, a high percentage of the games against both those decks that we lost. Like, I think I'll probably be winning, like, 60% of the time against both of them. But, you know, there's another 40% that we're going to be losing, and they just they just kind of happen to be part of the 40%, both of those matches there. But I, I would be very willing to run those decks back. Um, but there we go. So that's Naya, mid-range. Um, lost a couple of tough ones there, unfortunately, but it happens. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and uh, leave a comment on the channel as well, uh, or like on the video. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching Naya Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.